Hey Taurus and welcome to my channel. I am here doing your bi-weekly love reading for the end of February. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Not all messages will resonate with you, so take what you want, leave what you don't. And I hope you enjoy your reading. Spirit guides and angels, what messages do you have for Taurus for the second half of February? I said all messages that come in for Taurus are for the best and greatest good. All right. Your first two cards out. I'm going to scoot you back just a little bit. There we go. Your first two cards out are Temperance in Reverse and the Knight of Wands. So um, you guys are feeling a little imbalanced, um, a little impatient with something that you're wanting to move forward very quickly. Um, somebody could have left your life very quickly, and that's leaving you needing some healing, um, some much-needed healing. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, as both those cards represent the Saggy friends. Your guys' next card out is the tower. So um, you're having a hard time finding balance. You're having a hard time finding healing, patience, um, the passion again because of a shakeup gone down in your life, Taurus. A abrupt emotional. But the good thing about the tower is it, it wipes everything out of your life that that is not meant to be there anymore so for the all those difficult situations people relationships however you know jobs however it works um yeah the tower takes them out very quickly but they're meant to leave and it, you were having a hard time um getting them out of your space so even though it's very abrupt it's it's a good thing for you taurus um your guys' foundation is um, dealing with somebody that you have a lot of love for. Um, it's hard to find this healing and this balance after this emotional shakeup because you care a lot about this person. In uh, your guys' past, you were dealing with a broken heart, Taurus. Um, could have been a part of a third party, and that's what the shakeup was all about. Um, in your current position, you guys do have the Eight of uh, Pentacles in reverse, just needing to find the the uh, ambition to continue to work on this relationship, continue to work um, work this out with this person. I will pull clarifiers for these cards as well, too. I just want to get them all out on the table in the future. Um, you guys have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So a cycle coming to an end that you're trying to keep coming. You're trying to keep it from coming to an end. Um, as we know, though, the Tens do signify the end of a, um, a chapter in your life. The end of... A certain situation but a new getting is coming for you guys um you're really at a crossroads here you're really needing to go within and decide what it is that you want to what do you want to do with this whole situation in your guys's environment you could be dealing with somebody who um was having issues with Overindulging in something, um, you know, food, alcohol, drugs, you know, however it fits. But um, this really drained, it really broke your heart, and it made you like you're not being heard. You felt wrong, um, felt really sad. He was there in this. relationship that you want to work uh, on work how is ending What's the outcome for Taurus
E page of wands and um you're waiting to hear from somebody or somebody's waiting to hear from you Taurus um could be a fire sign it doesn't have to be uh, it's just somebody it's young than you know uh, or in your chest could be, be dealing with older but I'm gonna is the queen of cups pentacles in reverse Okay, so let's see what we got going on here. We'll start with your um, bottom of the deck here with the Queen of Cups. Um, you have a lot of a lot of love for this person, but I feel like you're not in love with this person um, necessarily. You could have children with this um, person, but this person has hurt you a lot in the past. And you're starting to feel those feelings. Um, for a long time, I feel you you buried them, you hid them, you didn't express how you felt. Um, after all this heartache that you experienced from this person. But now that this uh, person is, is either back or contacting you again, I feel like you are going within. You're really centering on your heart space and you're questioning if you really want to continue to put the work in to make this relationship work after all this heartache. So you're really examining your heart space in the next couple of weeks, debating on whether you should move forward from this emotionally exhausting, this emotional hurtful relationship that um, the two of you are experiencing. And you're questioning whether you should continue to invest in this, whether you should continue to um, plant these seeds of intention, or if you should move on to something that is um, more emotionally satisfying for you. All right. Why is the temperance here for our uh, Taurus friends? This temperance here. The Queen of Rods. So you could be dealing with a Sagittarius female in your, um, in your space. Uh, Taurus, or you have Sagittarius in your chart, Leo or Aries, but this is, um, this is finding your self-confidence again. This is knowing your value and knowing your worth and knowing that you're worth a lot. Um, with the temperance in reverse, that's finding self-love and self-healing. So their spirit is saying to, um, you know, embody the elements of the queen of fire with the the comp the self confidence the self assurance the um knowing how much you contribute your worth knowing how much you mean to everybody because that's important for some of you to hear um because you're really you're really feeling self conscious about this whole situation about somebody who left your life very quickly um and could have and could have returned very quickly as well but. It's making you feel very um, on edge. Like you don't know when they're going to do it again. Why is the tower here for what's crossing them? Is the tower here for a choice? Ten of Cups. Yeah, you feel like your happiness has been taken away. You feel like everything you had wanted and hoped for in this relationship was just knocked out from underneath you with one quick bolt of lightning there and you're just you're you're I can feel like your hesitation your nervousness um as to you're scared if it's going to happen again you don't know if you can trust this person why is it kind of okay in the foundation there's a lot of love here but um either you or um the person you're dealing with Taurus is not sure if they want to give this another chance if they want to take that leap of faith with you or you with them why is the three of swords here in the past yeah because as you see the fool is just sitting here looking at that broken heart in the past you're not sure if you even want to give this another shot Taurus for this group of you 
the Knight of Pentacles. So another uh, earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, really broke your heart in the past. Um, as you see, they are moving away from your broken heart. They kind of just up and left with that Knight of Wands and the tower. It feels like somebody that you counted to be there, somebody that you thought was um, your stability, your rock, just walked away from you and that really that really broke your heart in the past um you're really not sure if you want to continue to work on this taurus um you have all the power in this situation you can decide whether to stay or whether to go um but you have to face your fear if you're only there out of fear of money out of fear of lack out of fear of not having enough you need to face your fear and move forward um, in the direction that you desire without any worries about money or um, or whatever it is. Uh, you just have to continue to be strong in your faith and know that everything's going to work out for the best for you guys. With the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, you guys are really fighting the end of this cycle, not wanting this family situation to come to an end. You also feel like you're continuously arguing your point with somebody in your family whether it be a spouse, a long-term commitment, your parents, your children, however it fits, um, you're always feeling like you have to defend your value, defend your worth, um, talk this person into things so they know how much you, you're valued, if that made sense. You're, but you're really defensive and trying to keep this um, Ten of Pentacles from closing out that cycle. Um, it, why is the two of wands here for Taurus? But it's calling for you to go within. Um, you're at a crossroads, most definitely. Um, this is a second chance at love. This is um, the ability to do it all over again if you want. Um, or it's the opportunity to walk away without taking your any karma with you. Um, judgment day. It's yes or no, but... If this is a karmic partner, you're going to repeat this cycle. If it's if it you walk away from this karmic partner, your karma karma is um, done. It is you've you've already dealt with it all. Um, if this is a soulmate, because it's I can see it both ways for each one of you. Um, if this is a soulmate, then both of your guys' karma is dealt with, and the two of you can come back together um, and try to make this work if that's what you want to do. In the environment, you have the Nine of Cups in reverse. So someone around you is um, someone in your environment was um, overindulging, but it looks like they have taken care of that now because it is in the reverse. But it's also you also feel like like nobody is hearing you. Nobody is hearing what you want, what you need. Yeah, the four of wands is in reverse is clarifying that. So you're feeling really sad and disappointed. Like nobody's hearing your wants and your needs when it comes um, to your home, to your stability, to what you need out of a relationship. You could be with somebody who is very selfish. They only worry about them, what they need, what they want. Um, and, and your needs kind of come last. And you're really, you're really rethinking that now with the judgment card right next to it. With your hopes and fears, you have the two of cups in reverse Whoa. and the three of wands. So you're worried about somebody at a distance. Um, this is an emotional distance, I feel, for a lot of you uh, with the two of cups being in reverse. You're worried if you're going to be able to close that distance, close that gap within this emotional um, rift that is between the two of you. But neither one of you seem to be speaking up about this. Um, if you are talking to each other, you're not receiving each other's messages. Why is the page of wands here and as the outcome? The page of cups. So um, you could not be communicating with each other um, about the relationship. It could be based... You guys could be together just because of children, because you have two pages here. Um, you could have a fire sign child and a water sign child, or just two children, or just children in general. But um, that's the outcome. It seems to uh, be that the two of you are going to stay together for the children for now. 
um, to clarify the bottom of your deck with this bottom of your deck, you had the Queen of Cups. You have a lot of love um, for this person. You're just wondering if if you want to continue to um, pour your love into this toxic relationship. This is somebody you're bound, um, like binded to, bound to, chained to, and you're you're really wanting, you're really considering wanting to break free from this toxic situation, this toxic relationship. With the Eight of Cups, you have the Ten of Wands. You are you really just don't know how much more you can take, how much more you can handle, how much more you can carry before you just have to walk away. And you're not sure if you want to continue to invest um, in this Ten of Pentacles situation, which is in reverse again. So you're not sure if you want to continue to um, try to make this work, try to, uh, with this Ten of Pentacles, you're not sure if you want to work on it or if you want to try to keep it from ending still. So at the end of the day, you still are at a crossroads, Taurus. You still have that choice to make whether you want to continue to um, try to make this relationship work or if it's just to the point where um, there's just too much hurt, too much too much past has happened between the two of you, Taurus, and you're just not quite sure what to do in the next two weeks. you got a lot to think about. I'm going to get one card for our Taurus for the next two weeks. All right. Bodies of water. Spend time near water such as lakes, rivers, or oceans to recharge your batteries. You got the goddess of solace. In your um, bottom of the deck is medicine woman. You are a channel for divine healing power. So use that water. Use that. Um, use mother nature to allow yourself to recharge and to heal. Because water is very healing for you, Taurus. Um, so get outside if you can. If you can't, just take a long, hot bath and soak in it. Um, take a spiritual bath. It'll do wonders for you guys. So it will start looking up for you guys. Um, just got a couple more weeks of this tough energy. And once the new moon comes in um, in March, there will be a huge shift in energy that you guys will feel. And things will start to turn up for you. So, all right, Taurus, I hope you guys have a beautiful end of February. I send you healing, love, light, and God bless.